All right, guys, today we have hip hop royalty in the house. I mean, this man does not get anywhere near the recognition that he deserves. I'm talking rapper, producer, A&R, mentor, and I think half comedian. All right, you name it. I'm talking about the one, the only D dot, a.k.a. the mad rapper, man. D dot, what's good with you, baby? I'm blessed, baby. Thanks for having me, P. How you doing, bro? Man, I'm doing good, man. It's just a pleasure to speak with you today. You've been in good, this good. game for so long, man. Good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's start with the, the new album, right? The new Black Rob album. How did yeah. this album come about? Because Rob done been passed for two and a half years now, right? Rest in peace to him. Were you guys working on this before he passed? Um, A little bit, yeah. You know, he was he was a little sick, Um, you know, obviously before he passed, so... Most of this stuff was worked on early 2018, 2019 type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Then we took a little pause for the cause. But most of the album, you know, was done in the early 2000s and the late 90s and early, you know, 2010s and 11s. And I just, you know, I just just decided we're going to just use what we can and, and try to make it sound as, as, as now as possible. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's really what it is. Yeah, because the production don't sound old at all, man. Like, oh, man, it well, sounds dope. The production is new. The, all the production is new now. You know what I mean? And I, it's, it's actually a lot of old beats from 2000. Like, like a couple of joints, the beats were old, but we revived them because certain beats are timeless. You know what I'm saying? So we just wanted to make sure that we captured some of that, that feel. Yeah, the, um, the song Step Up with the Biggie sample... Uh, Straight like that? fire, man. That that, oh, that's, man, that track you. is crazy. And I like um, Get It, Get It. And, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, and uh, right. what is it? Uh, Live Your Life. Is that right? Oh, yeah, that's with Faith. With Faith yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Them yeah. joints is crazy, man. All right, all yeah. right. So what is your favorite track off the album? My favorite? I don't know if I have a favorite, but um, I know it's growing on me now because, you know, I don't, I don't really like, you know, uh, my own records, but more is growing on me more. You know what I mean? Like, just with me and Rob. Wait, going back wait, wait a minute. You don't like your own records? Well, not that I don't like them, but it's like, you know, I think I make better records for other people than when I'm on them. You know what I'm saying? So okay. So hearing myself on a record with Rob, just, just reminisce, because that's how we used to do in the studio, just go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Let us know about the relationship that you had with Rob. Oh, man. Like, we the same age. Me and Rob born the same year. He's a month older than me. Um, we both born in 68 and we just both love hip hop. We both from the hood, hood, hoods. You know, what I mean? he's from the Harlem hood. I'm from the Brooklyn hoods. Um, I, we just, you know, we just had this vibration about the style of beats we liked and the, 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 the sports. You know, he was a big sports fan. I was a sports fan. You know, the, the, we both smoked weed. He was more of a drinker than I was, but, you know, <laughs> we both smoked weed. You know what I mean? Um, and he was funny. He was just a genuinely good dude. Obviously, growing up in the hood, it scars you. And he did a lot of self-inflicted wounds, you know, stealing and robbing and doing all that other stuff. But in that studio, he was a beast. And I consider myself a beast. So it, it was just a natural connection. We just liked the same type of vibe, the bounce. He liked to dance. I liked to dance. So it was just a natural fit. It was just a, it was just a, a natural fit. That's the best way I can describe it. So you did you know Rob before you guys met at I mean mm -mm. you know because of Bad Boy or was just the connection was at Bad Boy um, first? Actually it was before Bad Boy. Mark Pitts managed the crew. He was a part of the crew, remember? And he managed Tracy Lee, who I was dealing with. And Tracy Lee was on Crew's first album. And so was Rob. Rob was on two songs actually. So I met Rob during a crew session mm. and then learned later that he then signed the Bad Boy. And mm. So it was just oh, like, wow, this is fate saying, you know, y'all two old dudes get together and make some magic. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so um, over the years, you guys just always stayed connected? Yes. Over the year, we just stayed connected. You know, his his boys that he bought around, like Beloved and Raheem and, and Jay Grands and, 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 and Chris Murray and all these dudes. And, you know, his alumni crew, G Depp and all the rappers. We just all, you know, somehow stay connected, whether we didn't all speak, but somebody would get the message and everybody would be like, you good? Yeah, we good. You know, so and and I just chose to do this project. It wasn't like I had to. This was a passion project. It was just I love my dude so much and he don't get the same love that, the, you know, the other 
got, you know, the other rappers that passed away, you know, and MCs that passed away. Rob doesn't really get the same fanfare or the same, you know, let's hear more. So I, I just wanted the world to hear more from my guy. He was he was dope, you know what I'm saying? And and he should get those props, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, most definitely. He doesn't get the recognition, like you said, as much as the other people that have passed. Yeah. Um, what was the process like of doing the album for you? How long did it take? It took about two years. About two years? Yeah, it took about two years, in and out, not every day, you know, took time off, family stuff, you know, just when I caught the vibe, you know, discouraged sometimes, and then, you know, not, you know, people not coming through for me that I wanted to come through and stuff like that. So, you know, you pick it up, drop it off. But, like, right before my birthday in July, I just got a vibe. And some said, man, let's just let's just finish this last piece and let's just go. So me, my man Riz Deluxe, Jamal, and uh, my, the engineer um, Bishop, you know, Bishop Make It Not, we just, we just, you know, tightened up and just finished and just finished. And my decision, you know, was to make it a double album finally at the very last minute because we were going to break it up. And I said, nah, let's, I think this is epic. Let's just use all the songs. And everybody agreed and we did. Was it, would you say that it was like an emotional process for you? Nah, it wasn't emotional. You know, <clears throat> Rob is gone. You know, I faced those facts. I, it was more, it was more like finally more like we did it for hip hop 50th anniversary. We did it for mm-hmm. Rob. It's my calling card to let people know I'm still here. I still got that. I, you know, I'm not the dude on social media all day, you know, look at me, look at me, look at me, but you know, I let my work speak for itself. You know what I mean? Yeah, no doubt, man. Rest in yeah. peace to Black Rob, man. Yeah. BR, Bacardi Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Word. <laughs>